Hello and welcome back. I want to do a quick comparison today of two micro SD cards. Uh, the first one is the SanDisk Ultra and the other one's a, a Samsung Evo Plus. Each of these is, I think, the entry level offering by the manufacturers. Um, that said, you, I've not heard anything bad in terms of reliability um, for either of them. And price-wise, there's nothing in it to um, pick one over the other. They're both priced identically for per gigabyte. Um, which really only leaves you with the one variable left, which is the speed of the transfer. They both seem to quote around about 100 megabytes a second as um, a, like a theoretical maximum. Um, I think I've always had a, a like an awareness that writing to one of these cards is a lot slower than reading from it. Um, I don't think I'd ever really bothered to measure that um, in any way and see how these two, which are probably the two most popular ones, or certainly the two that I see on sale the most, um, how they compare. Um, but what I did do, I had a little Google around um, just to try and find some benchmarking software. I came across uh, Crystal Discmark, and it seemed to be pretty well reviewed. Um, it's a free piece of software. Um, doesn't seem to come with any bloated adverts or anything like that. So um, I thought I'd give it a go. Um, so first up, we will put the SanDisk Ultra in there. Um, I'm using a, a little USB 3 uh, card reader. And um, let's do run the test quickly and see what happens. Right, so I've got the SanDisk Ultra in there, um, which is come up on as, as G here. Um, I'm going to leave the, just the default settings on the range of tests it does. You can go into it and, and sort of change the parameters of the benchmarking depending on what you're using the card for. But for me, it's very much just a general purpose thing. Um, so let's run this. Um, after about four minutes or so, it's, it's come out with the results. Um, these first two up here, oh, I mean, you just think of this one here, this is like a sequential test. So this is just writing a whole bunch of data to the card, um, on a file after file, if you like, or all, all in one big lump. Um, so you notice here that the, the read speed is about 89, well, is near as damn it, 90. Um, megabytes a second uh, and the blurb is quoting uh, up to 120 so you know that's not far off but the write speed is kind of almost a third well yeah just over a third of um of the read speed so the write speed is significantly slower it takes about three times the amount of time to write data to the sand disk as it does to read it um these test down here like a random one where you're randomly writing lots of small files here and there i think sort of thing if you're running maybe on your phone if you're running apps off it or something but i'm not particularly concerned about that really i'm looking at the top line here where you're reading at 90 megabytes a second and you're writing at 33. let me swap it over put the samsung evo in there and do the same test again see what we get okay results for the samsung evo plus and you can see that the the read speed um practically identical down a little bit it has to be said it's down it's less than one percent um it's down from whatever 89.9 to 89.5 um interestingly the read speeds for kind of the random i, I guess app use i don't know um they are a bit more significantly down um but the key thing here is the write speed for the Samsung is up at 81. Um, there's not so much of a difference in the, the writing small chunks of data here and there, but for sort of mass storage, then this is significantly faster than the SanDisk Ultra at writing to the card. In conclusion, I think the Samsung Evo Plus is definitely the one to go for. Um, its write speed is just so much faster. It's about two and a half times as fast to write to this card. It is 
than it is to write to the sound disk. Um, you can see the figures were 81 megabytes a second. I think versus it was 33 for the Sandus Ultra, and it's not like you've had to sacrifice any read speed to get that. Um, the Sandus Ultra was slightly faster at 89.9 versus this Samsung here at 89.5. Um, anyway, uh, I hope that's been useful to you guys, and uh, if you're looking for other piece of software for um, benchmarking storage device speed, then uh, Crystal Dismark um, seems well thought out, um, simple to use, and, uh, and it's free as well. So until the next time.